Hi everybody, Tashi here from Pixie Mommy's Reborns. Happy Friday again! I think the last video I made was uh, a Friday Friday night, last Friday night. Um, so I obviously have not quite been back in the swing yet, but I'm getting there and I've been posting a bit more on Instagram and as you can see some of the babies here are ready for Halloween or festive for Halloween. Um, to those of you new, hello and welcome to my channel. Um, to those of you who have been here know that we had uh, quite the bump in the road uh, with some uh, pretty serious family stuff. Uh, private stuff, but family stuff. Life needed me. Um, and I've also been greatly struggling with the uh, sciatica with my back, um, which was something more new. Um, I, I normally have the, you know, the, the back stuff, the herniated discs and degenerative osteoporosis arthritis and spinal stenosis and had, uh, as a lot of you know, have, you know, slowed down the past couple years. Um, wasn't feeling so good about that with, uh, you know, kind of the chronic pain. So I don't want to get into a whole, like, <laughs> I just want to update you all. I don't want to, you know, I, you know, probably since about when school started for the kids, um, uh, the, my sci uh, sciatic nerve on my left side started acting up very badly. Now, I've experienced that in the past, on and off, um, but nothing to this extreme and or to this extent of time. So, uh, I, long story short, in the midst of um, just a, a very, very serious uh, family thing, I just beyond, beyond, you wouldn't even imagine... Um, which is still exists, but is being tethered out. Um, so let me actually move around and, uh, and then I'll get to the babies and all that. I just, I, I don't know. I started where I started. So, um, <sighs> past couple weeks, even more so past week, um, the, the, the pain has gotten to the point where, um, I've, been on the floor. There's been days that I could not drive, uh, could not walk. Pretty serious. Um, yesterday, I dragged myself into the orthopedic and said, you know, I need this new MRI ordered and explained what was going on and how much pain I was. I couldn't even sit on the table. I was like hanging off the stool. It was just ridiculous. Um, so, I have my MRI, uh, which actually, as soon as I'm done with this video, I have to get ready. They put in for an emergency prior authorization for the insurance. Um, very grateful for that. Doctor's office got that done fast, and I will be having my MRI this afternoon, um, which uh, as well as the results going over to uh, my orthopedic, it will also go over to a neurosurgeon that I would like to see that we've researched uh, that's here in New York. And um, he, he, from what we can see, is a um, very, very good <laughs> neurosurgeon. And he's also one that does this, uh, the uh, Coflex implants, which... Um, from everything I'm reading, I may be a good candidate for that. So you need a, um, very recent MRI for this doctor to review before he will even see you for a consultation. He must review the MRI and see if you qualify to be seen. So that is where I'm at with that. And the doctor put me on, um, a very short regimen of, uh, prendazone to uh, try to reduce some of the immediate swelling um, that's happening, um, to reduce some of that pain for me. Uh, so we shall see. Hopefully um, that will get, you know, get me, you know, get some of that swelling down. 
So that's the story uh, kind of on what's going on here. I thank you all for your love, your prayers and support, your prayers for my daughter, for my family. Um, you know, everyone's okay. We're alive. Uh, you know, just been going through a lot. It's been taking up a tremendous amount of my time. And, you know, that that's about it. So on to babies, which is really what you came to see. <laughs> um, so as you can see, some of my babies, uh, yesterday I kind of got uh, some, you know, f the, their fall stuff out. Um, I just did with what I had this year. That's why I didn't take like all the babies out um, because, you know, I'm certainly not shopping, you know, for Halloween clothes for dolls this year so um but I again I did with what I had I I had picked that up for Shay oh uh, well over a month ago um so it, that's a really cute it's a it's a kitty cat dress uh with an orange uh onesie underneath it's black she's got black shoes black headband she looks so happy and sweet Manish is sporting a um, one-piece long-sleeve orange jumpsuit. It's a jack-o'-lantern face on the front. Yushi is sporting a, a long-sleeve onesie. It is black, and then the sleeves are black and white, and it says Mommy's Little Monster on the front of it. Asir is Asir is sporting a um Carter's I think those are Car don't they might not be um I'm not sure what brand but anyway they are uh just snap up footed PJs they are white they have jack o' lanterns on the feet and they say baby's first Halloween and scattered throughout is black cats pumpkins, spiders, and boo. <laughs> it says boo. So it's predominantly white and then it has those, which is really, really cute. It did come with a bib um, that says baby's first Halloween, but I just like it like that. So Asir actually just got this on this morning. I missed, miss this little man. He was hanging out with me the other night while I was doing some messaging and stuff and um you know you really kind of get to realize you know um you know which babies you miss just you know I, I enjoy at in in at night you know holding one and I don't know so I definitely missed uh missed my Asir of course you all know <laughs> he has my heart in a very special way um, and Manish, I was thrilled to just pick him up and give him a hug. <laughs> and this little one here, um, little NK Key, which is my newest addition. Um, she is not dressed for Halloween. Um, she is a very tiny preemie and I don't have anything this year for her size. Um, probably when it gets closer, I'll do a little photo shoot. I'll put her in like a little white you know, side snap something and, um, you know, uh, you know, like a little pumpkin hat or something if I have to tie it in the back, you know, something or just props, wh whatever. I'll do a little photo shoot, but I don't have a whole, like, you know, I don't have a costume for her or Halloween PJs or anything. And, um, that's, not on my to-do list this year. So next year, I'm sure we'll find something flatly adorable for this tiny little bundle. Um, but I had to bring her up and I have her in this video because I, <laughs> she's been hanging with me every day and she has my heart in a very, very special way. Um, I have been very deeply moved by this baby, um, you know, just, you know, um, the artist that she's from, which that is Kimberly over at Kimberly's Cocoon, the amazing sculpt that she is, um, the wonder of just the tininess, I, I just, you know, her precious little face, the little pursed lips, I, just everything, I, you know, everything, everything about this, this, this little sweetie. Um, and, uh, you know, she truly gave me that, 
it, it, her uh, her box opening, I, I was actually went back and watched it a couple times during this whole few week thing, just, you know, um, when I was probably at my wits end, <laughs> like, feeling like I was having a breakdown, I, I popped it on just to, you know, t take my mind off of what was going on, and it just gave me great joy just to have that to watch, because I um enjoyed her uh as my kind of uh early birthday surprise um she came a Tuesday my birthday was on a Sunday and um so Kimberly made it you know really you know special and there was balloon you know balloons as confetti in the package and um some homemade fudge for me it just was so like I feel like wow I got to um, you know, enjoy and celebrate my birthday. And then all oh, the poop hit the fan. Um, and then this little one has just been, you know, I mean, I think there was two nights that I hold, held her in, in the two weeks when everything was so intense. Um, it, it, but she was there, you know, she was there in the little basket and her presence just, I, there's there, there's really no words. It's just something, you know, um, it, <sighs> this art goes so much past, um, you know, uh, adult entertainment in like a hobby as far as like just having fun and role playing and the clothes and the things and that, 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 like being a kid again for us ladies. Um, it goes much past the art in the sculpts and the art. It, it, it just goes to a level of, I was thinking about this last night. I was taking, uh, some, some photos of, uh, Shay and Yushi and, um, you know, just looking at the composure of the photo and I enjoy um photography not that I do it professionally or not that I'm even that great it's just I have fun taking photos anyway um and that in itself is an art and I thought to myself you know just what an amazing amazing art form that just obviously goes so much past that because it brings all of that. It's like if you if you bought a piece of art for your wall from an artist that, you know, you admire, you love, that, you know, you want to collect from, um, and you enjoy that piece, you enjoy that painting, it's the centerpiece in your living room, and, you know, it, it, you, you sit with and look at it for hours with your cup of coffee, you know, like, you know, your guests enjoy it, you enjoy it, your family enjoys it. Um, you know, you, you see something new in it each time you look at it, you know, people that appreciate art, appreciate art, you know what I'm talking about. So as far as the reborn dolls, it, it's art in such a tangible form, um, we can do so much. You know, they're made to usually look as realistic as possible. Um, you know, it brings the, you know, uh, together a, the sculpt and the sculptor, the artist that reborns the kit or if it's one in the seam um it just it's so much in one and so you know and you know a very highly interactive hobby uh, that, that's fun and, and again it allows you you know any any woman well probably anybody sitting here listening to this or most of you kind of know what I'm saying because if you were a true true lover of dolls uh growing up as a child or even fell in love with them as you got older um you understand what I'm saying and if you are a true 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 lover of babies some people are just not you know and that doesn't mean that they don't make great parents or great mothers but they're just not like all about 
the baby thing, you know, like you shop for baby clothes because your kid needs clothes. You do this because, but you know, there's, a, I think that there's a difference when someone truly in their hearts, like, you know, I mean, all through my life, like you couldn't get me away from a baby section. That's all I wanted to go and see the tiny little this and that and, you know, um, et cetera, et cetera. If there was a baby around, I had my hands on it, you know, even as a young girl, like, that's just, you know, and I went overboard. And uh, anyway, um, I guess what I'm trying to say is, you know, just appreciating that it just, and where I started to say with and and Keiki is, so we have that, we have, you know, this really special um, form of art uh, that we're able to uh, enjoy in so on so many different levels. And we also have the artists, the sculptors and the artists that create these works of art, um, you know, and it's been in my experience that most of them put so much of themselves into it truly is a labor of love and when someone puts their time their energy their love into an object they're uh, just say you know because obviously they're tangible objects that they are creating they are transferring their energy um you know, and I mean, look, uh, I can go on to a higher level of a religious level because I'm, you know, a woman of God, but I'm not going to push that all that on you. But, you know, I, I think love and prayers and energy and everything, you know, can be, um, it, it, I mean, it can be as simple as sending someone a a card that you touch and hold and put your words onto that that person then has and it's tangible and they can look at it and they can hold it and they can read it and you're giving them such a you know all the all that energy and positive and thoughts that you put into it well I think that you know these these dolls are the same in that you are you know truly getting I you know I always felt that kind of from the beginning or from when the Twinkies first came, which you all know kind of, I say that brought my magic and, you know, Myra from my, Myra's Little Bugs is such an amazing artist and she put so much love in. So I, I experienced that and then, um, you know, came to afterwards, you know, um, a Sierra came and, you know, I, I began to experience and um, I talk about it from my very beginning videos, but maybe just couldn't put my finger on it or I didn't have a, a true firm understanding um, because, you know, I went and I kind of made my mistakes along the way and I veered off saying, well, it's art. I'm a collector. I want to have from different artists from and I and not that I don't. Um, but you have to find, to me, the right, you have to find the right artist that, you know, you have to love the artist. You need to love the artist or where the baby is coming from. Uh, you know, like Yushi here, uh, you know, came over from Annie Bananis. You know, his artist is in Russia. Shay came over from, um, you know, Ashley, Baby Love Heart Smith, and her artist is in Russia as well. So I don't know those artists, but the love of where the babies came from, you know, who had them before me. I Does that make sense to any of you all? That makes my deepest, that makes my connection, that makes, you know, um, these babies special to me. Um, anyway, yes, it's all rolled into one. Yes, I, I have to love the sculpt. I have to, you know, love the baby. You know, it's, I, you know, you kind of know when that 
baby speaks to you. I love, I love, love, love seeing all of you enjoy your babies and have that joy and have that magic. Um, I, I, I truly love that. It's my favorite videos to watch. It's just I, I love seeing when you know that other people are experiencing that joy, that fun, that childlike, you know, where you're just, you know, giddy. And I, it's, it's, you know, <laughs> look, being an adult is not always easy. We all know that. Being a parent isn't always easy. And, you know, life can throw you curveballs and all kinds of stuff. And um, it's it, it's important, or it is, at least it is to me, to preserve what I can of enjoying my kid at heart and, you know, things that, that I enjoy. Um, obviously, my greatest joy and love is my children and my family. As you all saw, I mean, the day of this this box opening, you know, as I, in, it was a joy. But as soon as something came up that you know took precedence, I literally dropped everything in my tracks. I didn't answer a comment. I didn't go back to the, you do what you have to do when your life needs you and your family. Family, of course, always comes first. Always, always, always. Um, but when you can in life and, and when you should and when you're not dragging through a crisis or an emergency, even if you are, if you have a busy day, life, kids, work, home, and everything, I think that it's um, important to, you know, take time um, for yourself to enjoy whatever it is you enjoy. And it doesn't have to be collecting dolls, obviously. It's what you, you know, it just could be taking a long hot bath or sitting up on a tree branch reading a book. It, I mean, it could be anything, but it's that you time. You know, and how we spend our you time is tailored to what brings us joy in our hearts. Anyhow, um, I don't, I really didn't kind of stay, I, I was all over the place. I don't know if y'all mush that together <laughs> and make any sense. Um, you know, I, I really wanted to get a video in. I need to do more of just like, hey, let's just pop the camera on and start talking to y'all because really I, I don't need to, you know, um, prepare or anything like that. I, so I, I don't, you know, I, I'm, I have to get back in the swing. I enjoy making the videos. I enjoy talking to you all. I enjoy reading all of your comments, uh, you know, hearing what all of you have to say, um, you know, interacting with you all. Uh, I really, you know, that brings me joy. Um, and kind of vlogging and, you know, this is my journey and, you know, welcome to it. Basically, I've been doing this now for, um, I guess, my year anniversary passed. Was I here for Halloween last? I have to look, but it's right up on a year um, that now that I've been doing the YouTube, um, which went fast. It's been fun. There's been tons of changes, lots of babies that came in, some that went, et cetera, et cetera. Um, it, it's all fun to look back on. It's all fun to share with you. I truly have fun watching you all share your journeys and watching you grow in your lives, in your hobbies, watching your children grow. Um it all uh, brings me great joy because I take pieces of all of you then with me. I love people. I love people's journeys. And um, I love that we have this platform that um, we all can, you know, bring each other into each other's lives no matter what country in the world we're in. It, it doesn't you know, it, it ties, it allows everyone where, you know, that that's a positive thing about the internet. I can do 20 videos on negative things and oh, maroon, oh, I've been really seeing ends of it, especially with things that I have going on with teenagers and it, it, it it's just the, 
and and as uh, privacy and your families like i i really it i think that this in the internet is out of control um it it's gotten a, you know totally off handle nobody has a lid on it and it's just this giant whopping <laughs> experiment it's I, it's a scary thing in a certain way, but it's here and we're on it and I am taking advantage of um, the good things that it has to offer and, uh, you know, because otherwise you have to just be completely, <laughs> you know, not on social media, not plugged into anything. And that's a really hard thing to do in this day and age um, and especially as a younger person raising children, not that I'm young, but I'm just saying I'm not a, you know, lived most of my life or, you know, I still have ch young children, raising children. So it's, it, you know, I have to be anyway, be here anyway, be plugged in, I should say anyway. So then I might as well take advantage of the good things that come with it and do what I'm doing. Yay! So I actually am looking forward to not only getting back on track, but boosting up coming up on, you know, coming on YouTube more, um, getting into some doing uh, lives on a very regular basis. And really, you know, I, I'm i facing definitely, it looks like back surgery could be very, very soon. Um you know, there's only so much that I can do in my uh, business right now and other things in life right now because of where I'm physically at. So, you know, I'm not just going to sit on my fanny, you know, watching TV all day um, or just lay in bed. You know, I, I'd much rather be making use of my time and doing my channel and you know, being here with all of you. So actually expect to all of a sudden see more of me, a lot more of me, um, because that's kind of where I'm headed with this. Like I said, I might as well just, you know, ride the wave of life and uh, make it the best that I can. And, you know, I, I, I'd rather be doing this as opposed to not, you know, nothing. And when you get to a point, and when you get to the point that I'm at and you just physically can't it's not like you can and it just hurts you know if you, <laughs> when it won't move anymore it won't move anymore I, I don't know I have some hysterical stories over the past two weeks um you know weren't too funny in the moment because of the pain that I'm in but <laughs> but looking back very funny so next video uh We'll do some funny vlogs. Um, I was laughing with a friend about that stuff the other night. Like, oh, can you imagine this scene? And I will share some of that with you because it is what it is. So I might as well share the best parts of it and not sit here and complain. Um, so I thank you all so much for your patience, your love, your support, your prayers, uh, your sticking with me. Um, you have all made me feel so loved, so good. Um, I read each and every one of your comments. Um, it's, it, it makes me, it brings me so much joy. It feels so good to see people being so positive and the, I love you and I love your channel and we're praying for your family and this and that. And all of these, that coming in is just such positive, good vibes and I appreciate it. I love you all. I thank you all truly, truly from the bottom of my heart. Um, you're, you know, giving back to me so much, um, really. Uh, so, and if you're just watching and not commenting, because you all know I watch a ton of your videos and, um, you know, I'm, I'm there. I just don't, you know, I'm watching as I do and I'm not into comment, but I'm with y'all. So anyways, um, I just, I appreciate you, those that are able to take the time, um, and that say hello and, um, all that. It's, I, you know, just letting you know that, um, it's not like, oh, I just done and go and, you know, move on. I, I'm just saying, I, 
it's I take I read everything that you're all saying and it makes me feel really good and um normally I interact with you all a lot more I just have obviously I you know time is is a issue right now that my family needs me but aside from that normally you know I kind of get in there and go back and forth a bit right now it's a little hairy and again I thank you all for your patience and your support on that so I will give you one last look at little Enkeki. Oh, she's just so precious. And everyone else. Asir, Yushi, Shay, and Manish. Those are the stars of this video today. And uh, I hope to be back tomorrow. <laughs> so, all right, everyone, please don't forget to um, give this video a thumbs up on your way out. If you're still here, check and make sure you're subscribed and that you have that notification bell hit so that you get invites to my live streams and that you see when I next upload. And I hope everyone has a fantastic weekend, a very blessed weekend. And until next time. God bless.